we're at the site of the Union Charge on the Unfinished Railroad. And this is some of the heaviest action that took place during the Second Battle of Manassas. In the afternoon of August 30th, 1862, it was a hot day, it was well into the 90s, and these 10,000 troops had to charge across up to 600 acres of open ground, uphill. They were being struck the entire way by artillery fire. After essentially a three-day battle, you have on the field some 3,000 wounded men. Within this, you have no way of effectively getting them out. So Washington, D.C. mobilizes essentially every wagon they can find to go out. But you have a handful of surgeons that stay, and they realize that some of these men are so badly wounded that there's no point in trying to put them on a wagon and haul them many miles away. The bullet is hitting right here and it's shattering out the backside. This was initially found over the course of a utility line being installed in the park. So that's the front of the bullet. The archeologist that was monitoring that work noticed bone fragments in the dirt. They discovered not just amputated limbs, but two complete skeletons of Union soldiers. One of the soldiers was wounded by an Enfield bullet that struck him from behind. These two soldiers were found with such significant wounds that although they potentially could be treated in a hospital in a major city, in a field hospital, the surgeon had to make a very difficult decision. And that decision was to not treat them and try to help soldiers whose lives potentially still could be saved. It personalizes because we can start to say where they're from, how old they were, how tall they were. They're no longer just anonymous. They're not bones. They be, start to become people. You can start to connect a little bit better with the unfortunate and really terrible circumstances they were in. That are out there until September 7th, some seven days or so. And so this is what really gets them to thinking about an ambulance corps, effective recovery of men. At Arlington National Cemetery, there is already a grave of 2,100 Union soldiers that were recovered from the battlefields here at Manassas. And it seems very appropriate to rebury these two soldiers at that same cemetery. It is an incredible story. There is no better way to tell it than through the bones themselves. These men made tremendous sacrifices in terms of who we are today. This is a way of looking at what they went through and telling their story. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.